Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you why I don't use the MT5 strategy tester. Now I love the MT5 strategy tester, it has fantastic features, you don't need to import external data, you, uh, it has wonderful graphics, the results are probably the, be uh, the best you can get and you can generate portfolio results and a whole lot of other benefits. But today I'm going to show you the resource limitations on the MT5 strategy tester. And as you can see, I'm using a pretty powerful machine. It's got 32 cores. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's got an i9 processor, really strong machine. And let's have a look at how it compares with MT4. So on your screen, you can see 12 MT4 platforms that I'm using to test the Bell Trader. And here you can see I'm testing the Bell Trader. These tests have been completed. These tests over here are still running. So there, there's some active ones running. So uh, I can comfortably run 12 MT4 platforms on this computer. Uh, and let's have a look at the resource it is chewing up. And there you have it. The CPU is pretty low at 20%. The memory is pretty high at 51%. So what I'm going to do is just add one MT4 tester to this. Uh, bearing in mind the CPU is only 20%. It shouldn't strain it. And let's see what happens. In fact, I'm going to leave the task manager on the screen and you can see the impact of opening the empty and I'm going to open only one MT5 platform and there it is I'm, I'm actually going to reduce the size just to make it more manageable and there we go so what I've got on this platform is exactly the same test that I'm running on MT4 exactly the same test the same EA the same testing template everything like that so uh, the settings are the same uh, you'll see there the uh, uh, inputs are the same I'm testing the same amount of settings and options and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a complete optimization so this is where I have the problem MT5 is reasonably good for backtesting one option. So backtesting is when you only test one set of settings, one option. Optimization is where you say to the system, please go and find the best settings in the, um, in let's say four million options. So that's the big difference. So I'm going to run the four million option. So to do that, I'm going to use the genetic uh, algorithm and I'm going to click on that. And it says, okay, I'm ready. I'll, I've got this genetic setup. Now, I want you to actually listen to what happens and we'll watch what happens over here when I start the test. Okay, look at that. It jumped to 100%. And just listen in the background. I don't know if you can hear the computer is revving up it's actually revving up the fans are revving up to cool it down and that type of thing so it's running at a hundred percent cpu obviously i can't run it at that and the memory's only gone up to 70 percent. so i'm actually going to stop this let's stop it and there's some some great results already coming through and there it drops down to to 20 percent and the memory will soon drop down too um, so th that is my illustration. That is why I don't like using MT5 for our optimization runs. It just chews the CPU. So I've closed the platform and everything's back to normal 20% running and 51% running. There are some MT4 active tests running and at that 20% capacity, there's one for instance, here's one and so on. So, so MT4 is not idle, it's actually doing, doing pretty big tests and yeah, you can see this is a, a, a 22 hour test that's running there. So it is running some substantial tests at a 20% capacity and the minute we open up uh, the MT5 platform and run, it just blows the whole computer to bits. Okay, so the strategy that I use is I use MT4 to do my optimization runs and then 
I compare the settings that I get out of those runs and the final settings that I use. And uh, if you look at previous videos, we don't use the top settings. We go for the lower drawdown settings and then we convert those settings into $1,000 settings so that one, we can trade them on a $1,000 account. So that's the process that is used. So I use MT4 to generate that first run and then I use MT5 to confirm the MT4 results. Makes it a lot more simple. The back test is one set of settings that get run. Resources are a lot lower. Now, if you want to get more information about resource management for MT5 testing and back testing, here are two some fat fantastic videos that I had a look at uh, recently. The links to these videos will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary of the video. So the purpose of this video was just to show you and you've seen a practical application of why I never use MT5 for optimization runs. It is too resource intensive. Now I look forward to any comments that you might have in, the, in this video. Please watch those two videos that I recommended because there are alternatives that you can use to get, a, get better resource management from your MT5 optimizations. And from me, Alex Aploy, I hope you found this video interesting. Cheerio.